The Aviator, released in 2004, is a historically accurate epic film that traces some of the most important moments in the life of the legendary American industrialist, Howard Hughes. Directed by the renowned Martin Scorsese and scripted by the Serial Academy Award nominee, John Logan, the movie tells the story of one of the most fascinating figures of the 20th century. The film takes place over a 20-year period from the 1920s to the 1940s and focuses on Hughes' rise to fame and fortune, his impact on Hollywood and aviation, and his ongoing struggle with mental illness. It stars Scorsese's muse Leonardo DiCaprio as Howard Hughes with Kate Blanchett as the celebrated actress Katherine Hepburn and Kate Beckinsale as the screen star Ava Gardner. The supporting cast features some of the biggest names in Hollywood at the time who might have expected to be the lead actors in any other movie. The Aviator was released on Christmas Day 2004 and was both a box office hit and critically acclaimed. It received 11 nominations at the Academy Awards in 2005 and won 7, including Best Actor for Leonardo DiCaprio's portrayal of Hughes. At the time of its release, the film sparked some debates and discussions regarding the portrayal of Hughes and other historical figures in the movie. The film perfectly captures the early life of Howard Hughes. Born into a wealthy family in Texas, Hughes was fascinated by all things technical, much like his father, who had invented a drill for the oil industry and founded the highly profitable Hughes Tool Company in Houston. Hughes inherited the majority of Hughes Tool when he was just 19, which allowed him to follow his passions and pursue his interests. The film accurately portrays Hughes as a playboy in the roaring 1920s and 30s, showing his lifestyle and how he used his wealth to fund his various projects. Hughes' involvement in Hollywood is also a prominent theme in the movie. The film depicts Hughes spending a lot of time in Hollywood, both as a producer and as a party animal, which is a true representation of his real life. Hughes' uncle was a writer and one of the early scriptwriters in Los Angeles, and Hughes' profitable oil business allowed him to use his money to make films and operate outside the early studio system. The film also shows how Hughes invested heavily in the film Hell's Angels, a World War I epic about airplane dogfights, and how he went wildly over budget and lost a great deal of money. In reality, Hughes was a gambling man and was willing to risk everything on the film, despite being a newcomer in the industry. In addition to his involvement in filmmaking, the film also depicts Hughes' stance on censorship. Hughes was influenced by Katharine Hepburn and took a principled approach to censorship, pushing back against the growing conservative backlash against Hollywood. In real life, Hughes disliked censorship because he believed it was financially bad for the box office. He saw cinema as a glamorous business and not an art form and was always a businessman first and foremost. The Aviator also portrays Hughes' relationship with several leading Hollywood actresses, including Katharine Hepburn and Ava Gardner. This portrayal is largely accurate, as Hughes did have serious relationships with both women and had strong feelings for Hepburn, who was possibly the love of his life. However, the film fails to address some of the more controversial aspects of Hughes' life, such as his promiscuous behavior and claims that he used his power and wealth to force women into sexual relationships with them. Additionally, the film makes no mention of Hughes' two marriages and it gives the impression that he was never married, despite his many famous and beautiful paramours in Los Angeles. In the film, Hughes is portrayed as being eccentric and erratic, with a tendency towards obsessive compulsive behavior. However, many historians and biographers argue that this depiction oversimplifies and exaggerates Hughes' actual mental health issues. While Hughes did suffer from a few mental health concerns, it is widely believed that his behavior was largely the result of his excessive drug use, rather than any sort of inherent eccentricity. Next, let's talk about Hughes' relationship with Katherine Hepburn. In the film, Hughes is portrayed as being deeply in love with Hepburn and pursuing her relentlessly. However, this depiction is not entirely accurate. While Hughes did have a relationship with Hepburn, it was not as passionate or intense as the film suggests. Additionally, Hughes had many relationships with other women throughout his life, including a number of marriages, which the film fails to mention. The Portrayal of Howard Hughes' Mental Illness The Aviator depicts Howard Hughes as being plagued by obsessive compulsive disorder and severe anxiety. While Hughes did have some mental health issues, 
the extent to which he was depicted in the movie is not entirely accurate. In reality, his symptoms were much milder and he was able to lead a relatively normal life for much of his life. However, in the movie, Hughes is shown as being almost completely debilitated by his mental illness, which makes it difficult for him to function in his personal and professional life. This is a significant exaggeration of reality and it oversimplifies the complexity of mental illness. By portraying Hughes' mental illness in such a sensationalized way, the movie fails to accurately depict the reality of mental illness and reinforces harmful stereotypes about it. The Aviation Industry The film depicts the aviation industry in the 1920s and 1930s as a booming business with numerous airlines and air races. However, in reality, the aviation industry was still in its infancy and faced numerous challenges such as limited funding, lack of public trust, and hazardous flying conditions. Additionally, the film portrays Howard Hughes as a hero of the aviation industry, but in reality, he faced a significant criticism for his eccentric behavior and business practices. For example, Hughes was known to be a difficult boss and was sued by several airlines for breach of contract. Furthermore, the film glosses over the significant contributions of other aviation pioneers, such as Amelia Earhart, who made several historic flights and broke numerous records, and Charles Lindbergh, who completed the first solo transatlantic flight. The depiction of the XF-11 crash in the movie is one of the most dramatic and memorable moments in The Aviator, but unfortunately, it's also one of the most historically inaccurate. In the film, Hughes is shown as taking the XF-11 for a test flight, but in reality, the crash occurred during a reconnaissance mission. The XF-11 was a military aircraft that Hughes was developing for the US Army Air Forces during World War II. The aircraft was designed to be a high-altitude reconnaissance plane capable of flying at over 40,000 feet. The mission of the XF-11 was to fly over enemy territory and gather intelligence about enemy movements and positions. On July 7, 1946, Hughes took the XF-11 on a reconnaissance mission over Los Angeles. But something went wrong and the aircraft crashed into a residential neighborhood. Hughes suffered serious injuries, including a broken arm, a broken leg, burns, and a concussion, and the aircraft was severely damaged. The movie portrays the crash as a result of Hughes' recklessness and lack of piloting skills. But in reality, the cause of the crash was due to a mechanical failure. The XF-11 was plagued by mechanical problems throughout its development, and the crash was the result of one of these problems. Hughes had complained about the aircraft's tendency to roll uncontrollably, and this is believed to be the cause of the crash. In the movie, Hughes' OCD is portrayed as having a major impact on his daily life and work, with scenes showing him compulsively washing his hands and counting objects repeatedly. However, in reality, Hughes' OCD was more centered around his fears of contamination, and it mainly manifested as a strong aversion to germs, dirt, and uncleanliness. He went to great lengths to avoid contact with anything he considered dirty, such as using tissue paper to touch doorknobs and elevator buttons. The movie also shows Hughes' OCD leading to him becoming increasingly reclusive and isolated from the world. But this aspect of his condition is also exaggerated. While Hughes did become more isolated in his later years, this was due to a combination of his OCD, his physical health problems, and other personal and professional difficulties. In conclusion, The Aviator is a well-made movie that showcases the life of Howard Hughes and his achievements in the aviation industry. However, it's important to note that the movie does contain several inaccuracies and exaggerations. For instance, the depiction of Hughes' OCD, the X-11 crash, and the relationship between Hughes and Katherine Hepburn, among others. Despite these inaccuracies, The Aviator remains a fascinating and entertaining film that provides a glimpse into the life of one of America's most brilliant and eccentric minds. So, while it may not be a completely accurate representation of Howard Hughes' life, The Aviator is still a must-watch for fans of biopics and history buffs alike.